Hello everybody, my name is Spammels and today we're playing Dark for the Journal. Now, this game came out back in 2002 and I remember playing it at the time and it was pretty creepy. And that was 13 years ago, I've not played it since and I'm big into my horror. So, I thought it'd be great to have another play and let's see if we can spook ourselves a little bit. It could be fun. So, it's a bit difficult to get this rocket get this rocking, get this rolling, uh, but here we are, it's happening, so let's go, new game. Message, one. If you're there, pick up. It's me, your brother. Ah, oh, I was hoping you were going to be in. Mm -hmm. I needed you to be in. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you only have a phone when there's something wrong, or something is wrong, very wrong. I'm still in Dorset. I'm not the only one here. There's two students from Weymouth University, Polly and Nigel, ghost hunters, would you believe? Well, I didn't believe. I do now. I need you to leave now. I need you to come here. I would go to the police, but, well, they'd laugh in my face. Ghost hunters. I think whatever they were hunting's found them. I think it's found me too. Please help. You're always good with things like this. If you leave now, you can catch the late train from Paddington to Weymouth. From Weymouth, get a cab. Come to Dowerton Station. It's abandoned. I'll be waiting. I really need your help on this. earlier and I couldn't find them anywhere. They wouldn't just leave. This all started a few days ago. It was when... I can hear it. I can hear it. It's right outside the door. Whispering. It's whispering my name. It knows my name. Good, you're awake. We're in the tunnel, the train tunnel. Just in case you were wondering where we are. Why don't you have a look around? But don't go too far. Not just yet. I have a lot to tell you. Okay, we're finally in game. That was a pretty long intro. Nah, you can't oh. see me. You'll find out why later. But for now, I can see you, which is all that matters. Alright, he can see us. We're safe. Someone's watching us. So, our brother, he needs us. You're from London, ain't ya? We came from London a couple of years ago in 41. Doctor said we had to. Air was bad for me and me dad. Breathing problems or something. Hey, let's keep moving, shall we? Your dad the governor. They call him the governor. Does he take care of business? Can I... Oh. I can see the others too. So maybe I can help you. I think the others are hoping you'll be able to help them. One of them knows you. Your brother, ain't it? He's the new one. Only just arrived. He feels a bit confused. I was like that at first, but you get used to it. I'm Tim, by the way. Timothy Pike. I normally play here, or on the footbridge. I like to watch the trains. I can see the others too. Oh, so maybe oh. I can see. I can see the others too. Yeah, to hell see? You. We're near the station now. It won't always like this. It's bright and busy and full of people. I think they must have shut it down. I don't remember why. I don't remember much at all. Not even the way home. But perhaps you can help me with that. I could help you with that. Okay, so Tim knows my brother. He's one of the new people. So he's dead. Let's go home. Game over. Yay, that was Dark Fool. Okay. Climb up on the platform. To you right now. Right, Go on. Tiny Tim, I'm on my way. 
No! I mean, you don't want to go down there till you got some light. That's your mate. No, I don't. It no. hides in the dark, you see. You'll see what I mean later. Right. Okay. Let's let's go into here. That's it. That's where you can get started. Open the door. It's a power room. Creepy. There's a switch in front of you. Pull it. It's time this place had a bit more light, don't you think? Pull my switch. Hey, there's a light. There's a cupboard. One. Two. It's time. When you've finished in here, I'll be outside. Right you are, Tiny Tim. So, when I'm finished in here, because there's... We've got the wall. Oh, Dorset Electric Company. Okay, that's interesting. I'm done. Right. Leave. I can still help you if you get stuck. You can find me on the wooden footbridge. I play there a lot. It's sort of, well, safe. Because it's secret, you see. It don't know I'm here, talking to you. But it will soon, so I'd better go. Remember? I'll be on the footbridge. I'll leave you a note. Bye for now. Goodbye, Tiny Tim. Thank you for all of your help. Let's go in the ladies. Okay. And to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Go through your wardrobe. Switch off that light. Okay. Alright. We think someone didn't flush. Mum, she's not so dumb. Okay. Careless talk costs lives. Mum's the word. <gasps> We've got a peeping Tom and a Laris, Larsus on the wall. Oh, it's a glory hole. Yay, Derrickson Station. Yeah, let's not go down that road. Family friendly fun. Will I always be here? Well, no. Because no one's here but me. Because there's no such thing as ghosts. Okay, so power's on. Let's, let's move on. Yay, progress. Can be run down, but homely. The waiting room. I think my brother said he's a. Uh, yep, he's set up in here. Can't not. Can't. Hunt. I want the lantern. It's dark around here. I want a lantern. Ooh, there's a phone. It looks like a type of Nokia 3210. For all you cool kids out there, that was a fun phone. Snake. Oh, yeah, just put it on the floor again. Don't put it in your pocket. Nah, screw it. On the floor. Know exactly where it is on the floor. PDA. History lesson, kids. In the day, we didn't have iPhones. We had a phone and a PDA. Um, I need to call kids have PDAs. Beep. Good evening, Pete. You have no appointments this evening. Because you are dead. Uh, Jonathan. I think that was the name of the guy who actually made the game. Jonathan Bobes? Um, okay. Um, you have yet to enter your business details. Here's a map. Beep. 
Hey. I haven't been able to see much of the building so far. It was dark when my cab finally pulled into Darrowton. What I could see looked promising. The roof was intact, so maybe the foundations will still be strong and dry. The crab trees are an old family. I am staying at the family home, which is beyond the woods. We'll make a start on the survey tomorrow. The next day. I am amazed. The structure is intact. The actual rooms are like a living museum. Time has hardly paled or dirtied the rooms. If you like this sort of thing, you could probably make a fortune in architectural salvage. Uh, I know a lot of people who... I should stop moving and reading. I know a lot of people who would pay through the nose for 40s memorabilia. Anyway, I have made a good start on the survey. Starting in the station foyer, there is a small, dry and private room off the foyer. The old waiting room, in fact, which I have made my base. There are two students in the hotel. They tell me that they are studying possible paranormal activity. No joke. They are looking for ghosts. Ooh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Um, they are nice enough kids, Polly and Nigel, and have some serious hardware with them, including their own power source. I wish I had one. I wish I had a heater for that matter. There is a fireplace in this room, but I doubt the chimney is up for the job. Starting the... Um, I'm losing my voice. Started surveying the old train platforms. Still solid. Plan is to build a large conservatory over up the platform and use the space as a restaurant idea. Area. Ah, reading isn't my, my strong point. Funny thing is, I was on the platform and heard someone in the tunnel. A kid, I think, told him to get out. You never know what lethal items have been left in there. I got a deadline, so the last thing I need is interruptions. Speaking of which, the students work through the night. Now that's dedication. I wonder how their investigation is going. Poor things. The proofs arrived. Vicky has done a good job on the hotel mock-ups, but the image will need massive changes. Jonathan Crabtree is a very particular client, bless him. That kid was in the tunnel again. I was going to go and have a look, but couldn't find my torch. It's really dangerous. What are his parents thinking? Today was stressful enough without new worries. The old theodite is playing up. I was surveying the down platform and the VDU went mad. Dear God. Some sort of interference. Well, it was well weird. Couldn't place the source, but the settings at the time were 271 by 623. 32. Had to leave it for now. Might get pulled down here to take a look at it. There's no time to waste, uh, so I got to work on the branding. We'll need, uh, we needed a name for the club in what is currently the hotel's reception and bar. I came up with the word cars. Just popped into my head, and I can't shake it. It's been in my head since Fear Dyke packed up. Have a look at a gift horse in the mouth and all that. So cars it is. Okay. <clears throat> Shared some pizza with Nigel and Polly. They were in a good mood and showed me their findings. Very impressive. Remote cameras had been placed all over the place, enabling them to view live... Where's it gone? Live feeds from several areas of the site. Damned clever. Not too sure about the results, though. Loads of blurry images of shadows. Not exactly conclusive. Anyway, enough of that. Time to get back to work. Near the end. Two more to go. <clears throat> I got a drink. I need a quick drink uh, to refresh the vocal cords. In no way endorsed or supported by Pepsi X. Someone has been messing with my stuff. I should have got a lock for the door. My papers were all over the floor. I asked P and N, Pe Pe Polly and Nigel, but I knew it wasn't them. I bet it was that bloody kid, the one from the tunnel. 
Okay, well, if he wants to play silly buggers, then so can I. I'll wait out here tonight to see if he comes back. Um, nope, no visitors tonight. Well, not to this room anyway. Though I must admit, um, this is really stupid, but I am sure that I heard someone on the platform whistling. It wasn't a kid. Sure of that. I'd be glad to get this job done and get out of here. It freaking me out. The final entry. 29th of April 2002. <clears throat> it's making my voice, my throat dry just in the contemplation of saying it. Last night was my last night shift in this place. The whistler came back, walking up and down outside. I could hear him beyond the window. I must admit to being quite unnerved. I gave Pet Polly and Nigel a call on their mobile and asked if they wanted to come down and take a look. Naturally, it stopped straight away. This is no good. It's affecting the work. Maybe I should think about getting someone down here to give me a hand. How can I explain it though? As the, as the boss, I can hardly admit to being scared. Maybe a friend. No, I know who I'll call. Perfect. They always love the puzzle. Okay, he called me, and here I am. And now his phone's broken on the floor. You know, I'm, I'm done with this PDA. Get out of here. The Station Hotel in Dowerton. Redevelopment portfolio. Uh, architects. Oh, cars. Yeah, uh, not reading it. Anything else? There's some plans here. Come on, everybody wants a map. Right. You know what? I think we're done here. I love these old style uh, travel posters and I wish that people still did them because they're awesome. Yeah, a little drink there. Sorry. My voice is really drying up today. I'm we seeing the phone. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna gonna park it there. We made it through the tunnel, we're inside the station, the power is on and we're holed up in the waiting room. My brother's office. He's missing. Presumed dead. There's a whistler on the platform. There's a kid in the tunnel called Tim. Tiny Tim, the tunnel man. He's dead. Everybody's dead. I'm sure of it. Anyway, rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me some feedback. Let me know what's going well and going bad. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.